hello students uh, in this video i'm discussing about the uh, classification of a uh, production system okay so as we already know the production system is a part of a part of an organization uh, which produces uh, its uh, products uh, production is a basic activity of all the organizations and uh, uh, and all other activities uh, revolve under a production activity the output of the production system is a uh, creation of uh, goods and uh, services which uh, satisfy the needs of the customer okay so here uh, there are two types of uh, production system the first one is a uh, continuous uh, production system and the uh, second one is uh, intermittent okay so in in case of a uh, continuous uh, production system there are two types first one is a mass uh, order production and second one is a process production okay so in case of uh, inter intermittent uh, production system uh, here also two types first one is a job order production and batch production okay so uh, first we discuss about the continuous uh, production system okay so here in this type the raw material gets uh, produced to, uh, through a standard set of uh, processes and sequences uh, to produce a continuous uh, stream of uh, products okay so in uh, in a continuous production system uh, all the facilities are uh, standardized as the inputs are put uh, through a series of uh, successive connect uh, connected operations okay in other words the same set of uh, inputs uh, flow through a same routes and uh, same process to convert them into a finished goods okay so such type of uh, production system is adapted by the industries which uh, produce uh, products like uh, petroleum chemicals and uh, steel uh, sugars sugar etc okay so in case of uh, mass production okay it's also called as a flow production okay so here flow production system in this system the production uh, manufacturing is uh, carried on uh, continuously in uh, anticipation of uh, demand uh, through a demand of the product uh, may not be uh, maybe uh, sorry may not be a uh, uniform throughout the year uh, for example uh, steel uh, fertilizers uh, soft drinks etc the standardization is a key note of uh, mass production the standardized raw material and the machines are used to produce the standardized products through a standardized process of uh, production okay uh, so coming to advantages of uh, this uh, continuous uh, sorry uh, second one is a uh, process production okay so in case of uh, process production uh, continuous production takes place uh, uh, in this uh, type also uh, but the raw material go through a uh, few major processes uh, maintained uh, as a separate department uh, this is uh, in uh, contrast to a uh, flow production system uh, which is uh, where the raw material go through a sequence of operation in a quick uh, sessions uh, in in the process uh, of production the finished product of uh, one process is used in uh, in the uh, next process as a raw material till the last process okay so coming to advantages of uh, this one uh, mass production okay so the material handling uh, in case of a uh, mass production is a uh, very important because uh, it is possible application of uh, conveyors belts etc okay it is a uh, and uh, second part is uh, automation is uh, impossible okay uh, third one is a uh, highly skilled uh, machine operators are uh, required and raw material and uh, raw materials are uh, low okay uh, because uh, because they are uh, used at a steady rate and uh, la in a large quantities okay uh, and coming to disadvantages of uh, mass production uh, because of a uh, big labor force required okay so uh, labor problems uh, may creep up okay and the second one is a uh, huge investments third one is a uh, cost of uh, changing the sequence of operation is high and uh, only limited range of uh, products can be produced is a major uh, disadvantage of this uh, process uh, system okay so applications uh, automobiles uh, sugar refining uh, electrical goods etc in case of uh, process uh, production advantages are uh, uh, cost of a uh, production per unit is uh, lowest in the process uh, production and uh, skilled managers are sufficient uh, there is no need of uh, skilled labor and a higher job security to the workers because uh, stable and uh, continuous demand of the products okay and coming to disadvantage uh, high investment is required 
uh, changes in a product uh, variety cannot be easily incorporated and uh, here the application is a uh, chemical petroleum and milk uh, processing industries okay this is about the uh, continuous uh, production system okay in next video we will discuss about intermittent uh, production system okay thank you